Hey, what's up, guys? This is Katie Cloudy, and I've been running AOSP A6.0 on my Nexus 5 for the past couple of weeks. And if you're wondering, yes, this is the 6.0.1 version, which was announced recently with bug fixes and support for the OnePlus 3. And the main feature in this new build is called Floating Peak. Now, this is a neat little feature which pops up apps in a small window on top of your current task for maybe something like a quick little fix or something or a reply and it happens only when you tap on a heads up notification or tap on this icon on your reset app well personally i didn't find myself using this feature as much and it didn't work most of the time and that's pretty much the only exclusive feature we got and aside from this we got the usual quick settings customization and immersive mode which hides your navigation and status bar to give you more screen real estate but what's missing though is the famous AOSP API controls and well we don't have that feature anymore and I was really disappointed by it and also uh, coming to the sign engine mod theme engine it's buggy it, it, it was buggy actually but uh, it essentially got fixed in the latest update uh, well I didn't test it that much but it was still kind of broken so the performance on Paranoid Android has been pretty good. It's nothing mind-blowing, it was at first, but as I started to install more and more apps, it started to get a bit slow. Uh, and there were a couple of glitches and uh, bugs here and there, which were rare. They were not frequent, but rare. Uh, animations and everything was smooth, but it wasn't responsive enough at times. Uh, still, it's better something like CyanogenMod, and the battery life in this ROM was surprisingly well. Uh, I'm used to two and a half to three hours of screen on time on stock, but this gave me three hours at minimum and an extra 15 minutes sometimes. So that's quite a lot and uh, those was working as well. And also uh, simply I just love the feel and the experience of the whole ROM. The clean and smooth animations of, of Marshmallow, the nice wallpaper and small things like the uh, clear all apps button on the spot controls and the sweet new boot animations. I just love the simplicity of this ROM and how it screams the pureness of the OSP. I swear I've never got such a clean, pure and stable experience from a ROM which was announced like a couple of weeks ago. Well, overall I'd say it's a pretty mediocre ROM in terms of features but it's really good considering the fact that it came out just a week ago and it doesn't have much bugs. So should you flash it? Now if you own one of these supported devices which includes all the Nexus devices starting from Nexus 4 to 6P and also all the OnePlus devices and a couple of Oppo devices I believe and if you want a clean, smooth and buttery experience of AOSP you pretty much can't go wrong with Paranoid Android. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.